What's up guys, Jeremy with Care Services and Blamo Tutorials. Coming back with a uh, second screencast. I, th I know it's been done before, but everybody wants to know, you know, you get all these icons, you get them all in one color, or you have a certain thing you want to do, you don't want to use reds. How about, I've got one customer that does a lot of purple, a lot of pinks, and the problem of it is, you are never going to find these kind of icons. I mean, where in the world are you going to find pink and purple icons? It's just not, you know, it's not doable. So you can either do one of two things. Uh, you know, number one, create one, which is very simple to do. I could show you how to do that. And I might actually do this actual tutorial here. But here is an icon that I created for some of my stuff, you know, to X out something, you know. No smoking, no walking, no sucky tutorials. The problem being is here is a red. Now, me personally, I could go back into the PSD that I actually created here. And actually, I, this is created fireworks, oddly enough. But I can go into the, uh, I can go actually into the original PNGs that I got and do just that and alter the color. Or what we can do is take this and have this layer. You can duplicate it if you want. I tend to be anal like that because I don't ever want to alter the original art. Although this is a PNG, it doesn't matter. It it erases all your PNG stuff when you open it. But uh, again, this is Photoshop CS5, but it will work in the lower versions, and I'm almost certain Corel will do it too. But very simple very easy let's do it all right so here we go we've got the layer we've got it selected what I wanted for this site was a pink purplish cancel button I want all my icons that I have to be purples and pinks and some slight variations of blues uh, the problem of it is is people can do this and everybody knows about it is to you know either a color it out you know you can try to dye it erase it layer mask all that blah 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 easiest way takes two seconds go to your FX go to cover color overlay oh see it already switched to gray there is our colors I want blue I want that I want green I want red but what I'm looking for is right up here in the almost hot pink section that's the color I want, but you ask me, Jeremy, but you just lost all that styling. Well, A, we can go back in and restyle it. B, we can leave it like this, add a drop shadow or an outer glow, something like that, which you can do. Eh, that's kind of stupid. I like the effect I created originally. And again, it goes back to the whole thing. Why invent the wheel? It's already been created. Come up here to your blend mode and here is the awesome you can do all kinds of little funky things with all this stuff and get some darkened effects right here see it's starting to come back but being that we're trying to change the the saturation the hue of actually the hue color you can come down here hit saturation and then you got that red because all you're doing is you're taking that pink and you're saturating the red with it which doesn't do good we want to pick up the hues now when I click hue BAM there we go just a, a, a quick easy way to get a very easy change you know for whatever the color is that you need whatever it is you're trying to do you know quick and easy that's what it's about right guys alright comment rate subscribe let's get this started let's try to build back up what we're doing. I don't know what the hell I'm loading here for, but okay. Uh, let's get this thing going, alright? Appreciate it, guys. Have a good day.